Today, let's talk turbo inlets. Welcome back, everybody. This is our sixth update to the drag car documentary series. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about the turbo inlets that I had to make last week, and it was one of the reasons why we're a little bit slow to get this update out, because I had to do a little bit of fabrication to get everything to fit in the car properly. You know, previously on the car, we had a three and a half inch inlet leading from the turbo to about the front of the engine. And then from there, it stepped up to a four inch inlet and went around to the front bumper. And you can kind of see in the background there, the uh, turbo inlet makes it look like the car's got front facing turbos, but it doesn't. They're in stock location. And uh, we just made some little ram air inlets with some of the velocity stacks in the front of the bumper, hoping that uh, we get good inlet pressure data as a result. But one of the things we realize is to get the maximum efficiency out of these turbos, that really needs to be a four inch all the way up to the turbo. So we set off to build something that would fit in there. Now, the previous inlets fit around all of the factory accessories, power steering, air conditioning, you name it. It was all bent and twisted around and not the most efficient way to get a three and a half inch inlet to the front of the turbo, but it was done due to fitment issues. Well, now I don't have any of that stuff in there, so we were able to fit a pipe a lot straighter shot and get it all through there. So let's take a look. All right, here's the passenger side turbo mock-up ready for finish welding. And the driver side, we we're just getting around the water neck area there. As you can see, it's quite a tight fit and then just to get a little perspective as to how the inlets come out of the front of the engine and snake up around the side of the frame rails all right what you're looking at here is the bank one or passenger side of the engine the turbo inlet is off for finish welding and the driver side inlet that I'm pulling off here was the more challenging of the two to be able to get it around the filler neck and water lines on that side of the engine. It was quite a tight fit and also fit it inside of the frame rails. Right here we're finished welding the passenger side inlet, getting the final tube on there to extend it beyond the front of the engine so it'll curve up and around the frame rail. And here what we were doing is adding a turbo inlet pressure sensor to the driver side inlet tube one of the things that we wanted to make sure we had data on moving forward was that inlet pressure ratio. That is a very critical part to know where you are in the compressor map on a turbocharger. If you don't know the inlet pressure, you don't know where you are on the map. So what we are trying to do here is get that located on a straight section of the inlet as close to the inlet face of the turbo as we possibly could. This is one of my favorite fabrication tools in the shop for building inlets, intercooler pipes, is uh, this bead roller from Vibrant. We uh, put bead rolls on everything. It allows us to use the standard worm clamps and we never have a pipe blow off when we use this thing. Just a quick look inside the inlet as it's installed on the turbo. You can see that it's as straight and unrestricted as possible. All right, now that you've seen how we've built these things, this is what it looks like installed in the car. So you can see the face of the turbo and the inlet running around, and it just clears that frame rail before it makes its way out and around the bumper. And then wraps its way around the front to the velocity stack. Here we are looking at the passenger side, a little bit more of a challenge to get it up and around the back side of the alternator, which is something that we have to keep. So it's just a little bit further forward than the other pipe, but still wraps around the back side just the same way, sneaks around the oil tank and then to the velocity stack to get mounted through the front bumper. All right guys, hopefully that gave you a little bit of an insight as to how I manufacture some of the parts I put on the drag car. We uh, took about a day to do that. 
was a little bit of a delay in getting the car up and running, but I feel like the uh, inlet was a critical thing to get the turbo to perform as expected. We don't want to have any reasons as to why you know we're not getting the performance out of the turbocharger. We also added some of those uh, additional sensors to measure the inlet pressure and the outlet temperature of the turbocharger. You know, without a compressor map available to us, it's a little bit hard to find out where we are with in uh, not having a turbo speed sensor but with the sensors that we do have it'll give us a really good idea if the turbo is where it's happy to live and how far we can push it beyond that so with that we'll see you guys on the next video